Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't if I were you. Kinda looks like a crime scene. <laughs> Somebody swab the poop deck. <laughs> Yo, where the fuck are ya, nincom poops? Galactic Criminal here, and today we've got Sky Limit, my runner-up pick from Jared Dine's Musician Mansion. I thought the track was sick, the music video was cool as well, but apparently they've gone and re-recorded the entire song, so I am very curious to see what changes they've made, if any. With that said, let us dig in. Sky Limit, a place you'll never find. One, two, Six hours. Take me a fucking year. <laughs> I have thoughts. It was honestly a really, really close pick for me for first and second place. Just from my judging from the show. If you haven't watched Musician Mansion, check that shit out. It's really, really fun. Um, but I mean, like from Greystone and these guys, two very different songs, two very different music videos. It was it was such a close like such a close pick for me as to who was gonna get first place. 
Because, like, like I said, this song is so fucking catchy. I like the, the solo is so good, and this this could be like a, a number one single, like in mainstream music. You know what I'm saying? Now that fucking spirit box is like getting into the Grammys, apparently. <laughs> this just man, the perfect amount of everything, like melody, riffs, and structure of the song, just like the, the fun rhythm of it, just by that by itself, but also adding like the very heavy metalcore nature to the scream and everything. She went, I think, even more brutal and savage on this recording version, Lauren, uh, than she did in the, the live recording. And uh, I had a, a, a bit of a problem with the intro to the song in the, the, the live recording version. It just, it, I didn't feel like it hyped me enough uh, to, like, leading into, into the song itself, which an intro was really supposed to be there for, honestly. Uh, but I feel like that's totally changed. I, th I think it was pretty much the same. I, I have to like, to look back and see exactly, but just more polished. Just you can hear it better uh, than the live recorded version. And just yeah, everyone, everything we did so good on this. Andrew Bena, man, <laughs> his vocals on this are so good. I like it in Carcosa, but I feel like it was a little bit more prominent sounding uh, in this song specifically. Uh, that was yeah, that was really cool. You don't hear a lot of riffs in, in like metalcore and shit anymore. So <laughs> this is really good. It was like it's so weird you can't even like genreificate this thing because it's like it's like heavy rock and metalcore, but then you got like fucking double kicks like toward like the middle and end of this thing it was just. I, I mean, it's definitely I feel an, an, an amalgamation of each of these artists' style into one song is what I feel like. This band did the best out of the show. Like honestly, I feel like Greystone went like straight up death court. It was like it was like Nyx writing. I feel like I don't think he said or that he has or not, but I feel like he just kind of took the lead on that and just went. We're just gonna go death court and do this. And I feel like the other band was it Grass Grasshopper. Uh, they went straight up with Anthony Vincent's like uh, Soundgarden Chris Cornell voice and basically made a Soundgarden song. So that was like, that was kind of the, just the way that I saw it. And, and like, again, this group, I feel like uh, they, they, they did the assignment properly. They integrated all of their, all of their influences and their, their vibe and their style into one very cohesive song and catchy as fuck song. That shit's going to be running through my head for the rest of the day. What, what the hell? The rest of you fuckers think of this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video, so you want to watch it for yourself full screen full audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.